Hey, folks. I'm here with Bruce Corson. Hi, Bruce. Hey, Molly. How's it going? Good. Good. You nice look so cozy. Face. It is. Oh, my gosh. So Bruce is with computer, patient computer help for grownups. Um, and, uh, Bruce, working from home is not something new for you, um, because that's kind of what you do all the time, but, um, tell me a little bit about how you've had to pivot, um, your business with this new, uh, virtual world, which is really your world. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, Karen and I, uh, uh, both Karen's my daughter. Karen Posha, she works uh, with me too. We both work out of our home. She's got a little baby right now, so she's staying at home 100% of the time. Um, I am going out as needed on emergency basis only with gloves and that sort of thing. Uh, but most of the work we've been doing in the last uh, few days are, has been remotely. People call me as they always do and say, hey, what's have, why isn't this backing up or what's this message mean? And a lot of times I can just talk them through that. Um, I can also usually remote onto their computers if needed. And then if I actually, if we actually have to get our hands on it, because there are some things like uh, the uh, mutual friend of ours that, that you sent to me the other day, I take the computer, I talk to him through my storm door, he drops it on my, uh, well, he places it gently on my uh, <laughs> porch. And um, he walks away and I have gloves on and I go out and wipe it down with Clorox wipes real well. And then I bring it into my little uh, office laboratory and um, uh, try to fix it. And usually we do. And have you been able, I mean, I would think you've got to be crazy right now because everyone is spending 99% of their time on a laptop or a home computer, and maybe people who haven't used their home computer for a while now has to start using it. Um, so are you able to keep up? I mean, are people... It, it, hasn't, it hasn't been, the people we've been uh, dealing with all along, uh, their computers are working pretty well already. Thanks to you. And, well, I hope so, but uh, uh, so we, um, We've, we've been busy. I filled up the time. Um, fortunately, you know, to do this, we have to keep up some certifications too. So I had a, like a whole day. I forgot when it was now. They're all blending together. Yes. Guys, finally, I'm going to get this certification test uh, done, which was just taken over and over again until I got it right. And then they give you the certification and that allows you to do some things. Um, and there are some other, uh, um, I just got off a webinar a moment ago uh, that will help me set up my um, remote management software that, that automates tasks like cleaning up computers and um, just, just keeping them in, uh, in tip-top shape. Um, I was learning some scripting um, things that I need to do to, to make that happen more efficiently. How can folks, um, I'm hearing that in this world of all virtual, um, we're seeing some scams and, and uh, some break-ins on computers. Uh, what are just some simple tips that people at home can be doing with their computer to make sure that they can protect themselves? I see more scams coming in uh, through phone calls rather than uh, uh, the computers themselves. It does happen on computers, um, but both of them are surprise things that you don't expect. There's a pop-up on your screen that says, Microsoft licensing has ended, call now or else you won't be able to use your computer in two days. People get phone calls just like that too. They are 100% scams. There's nothing like that that'll happen um, uh, you know, on purpose. I, I, I mean, I that's legitimate is the word I was looking for. Um, and um, so usually my advice is that either hang up on them or turn off your computer. Control alt deletes a great thing to stop the um, uh, messages that are screaming at you from your computer. But uh, when all else fails and I can't be there to help you, you just hold the power button down for 10 seconds, start it back up and it'll probably be okay. 
And don't you, click on anything for Pete's sakes. Yes, yes. And if it does happen, um, one of the, and you've let them onto your computer, uh, we can go do a thorough cleanup to look for things that they might have left on there. Um, and if they've gotten onto your computer and you've given them a credit card number, probably the most important thing to do is to call your bank or the credit card company or whatever. Get all those, get that, uh, those accounts shut down or the numbers change or, or wherever the case may be. Yeah. Um, and in this world where we're bringing our work home with us, um, anything that is of maintenance that um, we could be doing to make sure the longevity of our computers are, are good. Shut your computer off. Um, uh, if, it, if, it's a, if it's a Mac, shut it off at least once a week. If it's a, a, a Windows computer, restart it at least once a week. Is it, I think that's for me personally, because Bruce well, knows I never it, do that. Maybe it would be. <laughs> um, and uh, that, that, that does some things. Uh, in the Windows world, it, it, it does some things that help keep, your, um, keep it healthy. Keep, put things in its place, that sort of thing. I like to use the uh, example of, well, especially with shutting down for a Mac. If you have a, if you have a summer home that you spend the summer there and, and you leave in September and don't go back until May, uh, you wouldn't just like lock the door and leave. You would shut the water off. You would clean. You would do all kinds of things like that. And, and that's what shutting down your computer in a, organized fashion using the start button or the Apple uh, menu um, will do those things. It'll, it'll turn off your water. It'll, it'll, it'll vacuum before you leave. And my phone is ringing. I should have shut it off. Hang oh, on. we have a caller. Yes, we do. It's a real live client. I love that. Uh, so I well, that's a great analogy to, to kind of put a visual with that. I love that idea. Um, while you're home uh, and things are a little calmer, is there any hab uh, hobbies? Uh, have you pulled out the um, harp that you've been uh -huh. dying to learn how to play? I have thought about borrowing the guitar I sold to a good friend back uh, I'm a horrible guitar player, but I have fun with it, and I thought about borrowing it and um, just playing for a couple of weeks and reminding myself why I'm not a guitar player. <laughs> I love it. Um, and is there, uh, first of all, how, how can people find you? Uh, what's your website? Patientcomputerhelp.com. Um, and, uh, on Facebook it's, uh, well, search for patientcomputerhelp.com. I think it's facebook.com slash patientcomputerhelp. And, um, uh, uh, email address is bc at patientcomputerhelp.com. Uh, phone number, the only phone I have, both cell office and I don't have a landline. 440-476-3351. And Bruce, in this crazy time, what would you like to say to everybody? Oh, don't panic. It's all going to yeah. be all right. Yeah, we are the Chagrin Valley. We'll yeah. get through it. Yeah. Well, well, thank you for your time and thank you for your background. I would say that you have the best background. Um, oh. The best background so far. I love that. Oh, and cool. mine, uh, for those of you who are watching, uh, people have asked me, that is um, the table that used to be on my mom's back patio um, and really? because we spent so much um, so many amazing memories and and gatherings around that table um, when she passed away we took it and took the legs off of it and mounted it uh, here obviously we added the family uh, uh, sign but yeah that is lots of conversations and happiness around uh, that table um, so yeah, that's what that is. If, if people are wondering, well, thank you so much. Um, and be well and safe, please. And, and give baby Levi a hug from all of us. I will. Thanks. All right. We'll Come see on. you. Bye. Take care. Bye-bye.